My name is uh, Fabiola Sosi. I work as a consultant cardiologist at the Polyclinical Hospital in Milan, Italy. I'm uh, here uh, for a presentation at the International Academy of Cardiology Annual Scientific Session 2015, the 20th World Congress of Heart Disease held in Vancouver. My presentation is uh, related to coronary competent tomography and geography. What is its diagnostic and prognostic value? A coronary CT scan has become a powerful method for evaluation of anatomy of coronary arteries. Actually, we can Im image very well the arteries, uh, the bypass, stents, half function, and uh, great vases. Uh, coronary competent tomography has a high sensitivity on patient base is 99%, on segment base is above 90%, and a high negative predictive value. We have to select very well our patient, so we have uh, to consider patient at low intermediate risk of coronary artery disease and a patient with mild calcification, no high rate of calcium scoring, no high calcification, because calcium create blurring artifacts and we don't have to forget that the heart is a moving organ so it's more difficult to be precise. A part of uh, the uh, location and the entity of the plaque, with CT we can evaluate the type of plaque. We can see calcified plaque with a lot of uh, amount of calcium, mixed plaque, so a part soft with some a little part of a calcification and not calcified plaque or soft plaque. Those are the most tricky plaques. The non-calcified plaques are the high risk plaque because uh, those plaques are not easy to be evaluated, especially with the coronary angio. Atherosclerosis is a very old process, old disease. Actually, we have found the first documentation uh, in the 1,500 years before Christ in mummies. There is a nice study from the uh, Cairo Museum. And the calcification had the same distribution of what we found at CT nowadays. Uh, with uh, uh, here's the high diagnostic value, uh, we went further with the uh, investigation and we found that the CT has also a high prognostic value. Many studies have published in the last five years. Actually, with my group, we have selected a population of 222 patients and we followed them for a long-term period of five years follow-up and we evaluate MACES, major adverse cardiac events. What we found was that uh, the location of plaques, so proximal plaques, uh, were carrying worse prognosis compared to distal plaques. Uh, Non-calcified plaques or mixed plaques were carrying worse prognosis. And a multivessel disease, so plaques in multiple uh, vases, were carrying worse prognosis compared to single vessel disease. So the predictor are the type of plaque, I'm underlining this concept because it's the powerful uh, point of CT, so the type of plaque, the location of plaque, and the amount of calcification. Uh, now, uh, what can we say? The negative side of CT is the radiation. Of course, we know we are giving X-ray. X-ray have many collateral effects, but we don't have to forget the technology is so fast and so improving the techniques that now we can perform a CT uh, with a radiation of two millisieverts, which is quite low. Consider that the background, or the ear background is three millisievert and uh, that when we perform a, a perfusion study with scintigraphy, uh, thallium technetium, you give 11 millisievert. So uh, it's a reasonable amount for diagnosis of coronary artery disease. It's a fast technique, uh, it's uh, taking 10 seconds, the scan, and uh, you don't need uh, uh, to be invasive, it's cheaper. Uh, and then uh, uh, you have um, a good uh, result 
in the, from the anatomical point of view in patient, again I'm repeating, with intermediate risk and uh, moderate calcification rate. The negative side is the contrast injection, something that you don't have with stress echo for instance, and radiation, something that you have with the perfusion study with the scintigraphy. And then, last thing, uh, the heart rate of the patient should be about 60 heartbeats per minute, and uh, it shouldn't be arrhythmic, arrhythmic, or you have to prepare your patient. So this is the negative side. And no heart failure patients.